Let's show you how to make a sprite sheet in Photoshop for Unity. Now, this icon sprite sheet will be downloadable on our site for members. The link's in the description. We hope you guys become a member because we want to put more content out there for you guys. That uh, This sprite sheet's going to have a bunch of different things like hamburger menus, uh, sound buttons, and settings buttons. But if you're looking for any other buttons, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and throw that in onto the sprite sheet. Before we get started, if this video helps you out, return the favor by leaving a like, a comment, and subscribing to the channel. If you want to use this sprite sheet and get other Unity assets, become a member at infogamerhub.com. We need you and we thank you for any help you can provide. I've tested this sprite sheet out and it seems to be working great for what I wanted to accomplish. You guys might have to tweak it a little bit if you want something different. But yeah, so here's what we got. If I go to image canvas size, the inches is this number right here for 10. But if we go to pixels, how I came up with this is the default unit size for Unity is 100 pixels per unit. And so I wanted 10 boxes. And so 10 times 100 is 1,000. And then the 36 comes from these gutters. Um, each gutter is four pixels wide, so four times nine because there's nine uh, gutters in the columns and rows. Um, it's four times nine is 36. That's where I came up with this number. If I open up a new project, I can show you that I set the pixels per inch to 100, and you do that right here. So the width was 1,036 pixels. Height was 1,036 pixels. Then you just hit create. And it will give you a blank sheet with uh, some background image that I toggle on and off to make sure that uh, sometimes it's easier to see on a white background than it is this checkered background. You just have to make sure you turn this background off when you're moving it into Unity. Okay, let's go to set up the guides. Uh, and you can do that by going to View, New Guide Layout. And you set the number to 10 with the gutter to be 0 0.04 inches. And because we set the unit, that unit value per inch to 100, this is automatically going to be 4 pixels. 0 0.04 inches is equal to 4 pixels. When you have your sprite sheet ready and uh, it's got enough sprites to test, you can save it off as a PNG. And the reason why you want to save it off as a PNG after you uh, remove the background is because PNGs allow this um, stuff to be see-through. If you save it off as a JPEG, it's going to not be have this uh, see-through part. It's going to look like this or something if you save it off as a JPEG. And with the color changing thing we're going to be using in Unity, it would change this whole entire white background to uh, color, and we, we don't want that. So save it off as a PNG. Okay, then when we go over to Unity, now don't mind this project, it's something that I've been uh, testing with. Let's go ahead and add that sprite sheet to our icons folder that I set up. Right click create folder, set icons and the sprites folder so we can keep it really nice and organized. Um, let's go ahead to assets and import new asset. You can go ahead and click on the final sprite sheet it populates the uh, folder but we got to go ahead and change some settings go to sprite 2d ui and the pixels per unit is again 100 by default but we want to change this to multiple because we're going to get quite a few sprites out of it if we already hit a, if we hit apply then we can go to sprite editor and I could show you a couple things. If you uh, go to automatic and just slice this, it's, it's slicing every single letter. So when you hit apply, it's going to pull in a lot of sprites, like S <laughs> for one sprite, or T. Um, but actually, when you re-slice it and apply, it's going to change all these. So we don't have, you know, it's, a, it's okay. And what... Um, what I do with that sprite sheet that I showed you guys is I go to grid by cell size and we already know the pixel size that we want is 100 by 100 
and the offset actually it's only the padding is four by four so the x row and the um or the rows and the columns will have a padding of four pixels let's hit slice and check out what we got so if you zoom in you can see on these uh, button images when you click the line that it is right on the line of that um, image and you click on the next one it's right on the line so, so that's that's awesome because instead of um, having to go and automatically use auto and trim all these and drag and click drag and click drag and click you can do this grid by cell size and it's really fast okay then go ahead and hit apply and it's populated with our different sprites awesome all right this is why it's important to stay to the end i actually forgot to tell you something and it's i, I find it super helpful when i'm creating my own icons um like in, instead of setting up rulers and this whole thing and getting your rulers or whatever having to create a ton more rulers and making your um, sprite sheet messy I actually just set up another window and I can show you the canvas size on that it's one inch and it's again a hundred pixels um, per inch so when you copy paste this it should already be set to the correct size for these squares but in this window you can have it already zoomed up you can have a bunch of different rulers on where you want the text to be um, where you want your icons to end up and it's a lot cleaner you can also have the center of your icon if you want the center of all your icons up around here so that they fit into the square you can do that this is just the center for the entire um, block and uh, making sure you have everything in folders so it doesn't get confusing you can then copy the folder go over to the icon sprite sheet that you want to put it in and hit paste then control T and drag it over into the corresponding spot making sure to line up making sure you line up these uh, transform lines to your gutter lines Check out our other tutorial on actually setting up the navigation bar in Unity and you can have color changing effects on these buttons. We're going to clean this navigation bar up by the time we're done with it as well, make it look really good. But I hope you'll follow along in those uh, tutorials and I hope this video was helpful. If we were able to help you out with this video, please help us out in return by leaving a like and a comment on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel.